Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwame Sha'Allah, Kohaloi Malai Yehovah Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Kahakodash, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say, the water to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Shachanan, the wife just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And what was said in the greeting was, Kohaloi it's all praises to Yahweh, which means that he exists where he is to be the existing one. That's the most high in Paleo Hebrew. Bahashem means in the name. Yahweh Shai means the son, which the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the savior or deliverer in Paleo Hebrew. And he's not some blonde haired, blue eyed white guy. He is a um, dark melanated man. The scripture describes him as being a dark melanated man with woolly hair in the book of Revelation, chapter one, verse 13 through 15. Give you a description of him being a dark melanated man. And he had woolly hair and he was an austere man. He had a deep voice. He wasn't this effeminate picture that you see of this white guy that the, um, the so-called white people have been pushing for centuries. The Lord is not that person and the Lord does not look like that. <laughs> And that's idolatry. If you are worshiping a white guy named Jesus and you're a Christian, you are worshiping an idolatrous um, image. And that is idolatry. The Lord's name is not Jesus. The letter J was invented in 1524 by a guy named Trasino about 500 years ago. So if he walked the earth 2000 years ago, how could his name be Jesus? So you need to do your research and go off into some of these things because we learn white Jesus from so-called white people. That enslaved us and beat that into us as a people. So get rid of that image, get rid of that name, call on the true name of the Father Yahweh in the name of his son Yahweh Shai. And you're gonna see the hatred that these people have for you. The very same people that's telling you that the God that's gonna, gonna come save you, that looks like them, um, this article will show you. And um, well, in the comments, it'll show you that these people hate you. They hate your guts. They're never going to like you. And you need to wake up because we're living in the last days. And the Lord is coming to save the children of Israel, which are you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans. That's what you were called before you were brought here and given these um, names that they've given you. The oppressor has given you African-American, black, Hispanics, Native Americans, Latinos, uh, Jamaicans, Haitians, Cubans. All these different names were given to you by the very people that hate your guts. And they hate your guts to this day, because when you look at articles like this and you go into the comments, it, it shows you the deep down hatred that they have for you. But you, you so-called blacks and especially the, the Negro woman, she will fight you tooth and nail to save the so-called white man. Why? Because he has set her up on a pedestal and, and, and has given her the power over the male and, and their households and families and, and have destroyed them. And they don't even know. But anyway, let's get some of this says, remembering enslaved Africans who chose death over slavery by walking into the ocean. Now, you have to realize that there are, Africa is a continent. A lot of people don't know that, especially a lot of these Americans. Americans have some of the, the, the um, I'm just going to put it straight, the dumbest schools in, in, in the world. America does not teach properly. <laughs> um, a lot of Americans don't know that Africa is a continent and it has 54 countries in it. There's 54 countries in the, in the continent of Africa, almost the size of America. 54 of them. So when they tell you you're African, they can't tell you what, what part of Africa you came from because you're not Africans. You're actually Shemites. Africans are Hamites. Noah, when the flood came, Noah went on a boat with his three sons and their wives. Those three sons, they repopulated the earth. You either come from Shem, Ham, or Japheth. All Africans, um, um, they come from Ham. Shem, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are from Shem. You see? And your seed line goes on to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, which the Lord made a promise with, and, and, and that's who the new covenant is for. That's who the old covenant was for. And that's who the Lord is coming for. You so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans, you you true Hebrew Israelites. That's your nationality. You are not Africans. A Ugandan is not going to tell you they're Zimbabwean, which they probably are the same people. They are the same people because they come from Ham. But they're, they're not going to tell you that. Um, and they're definitely you think an Ethiopian is going to tell you that they're the same as you so-called blacks in America. They're going to shun you, man. 
Even Africans, if they, the, these people that come from Africa and they come to the Americas, they don't come to the hoods of America. When was the last time you seen an African in your neighborhood? They know not to move around you. They're not the same people as you. They don't they don't resonate with your spirit. They, they, they hate your damn guts, just like the so-called white man does. So get that African thing out of your mind, man. As a matter of fact, let me just get this real quick. OK, let's get it. I have the definition of um, ham. Um, this is this is in the Zondervan's Bible Dictionary. Ham. Because the scripture says to prove all things. Ham. The youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood and one of the eight persons to live through the flood. He became the progenitor of the dark races, not the Negroes, but the Egyptians, Ethiopians, Libyans, Canaanites. See? So, Ham, we're not Africans. We're not the same people as an African. We don't, have, we don't have the same spirit. You can clearly see that we're not the same peer, people in spirit. And, and you have to understand that everyone with melanin is not the same people. Understand that. You have to understand that. That's just common sense. Everyone with melanin that, had that, that has a somewhat of a dark color, they're not the same people, man. The only people on the planet that don't have any color is the so-called white man. And he's the one that came up with all these colors as nationalities. He calls you, you so-called blacks, blacks. He calls himself white. When actually he's pinkish to reddish in color. He's not even white. You know, he calls the Chinese yellow. <laughs> he calls the Puerto Ricans, Hispanics brown. Those are not nationalities, man. You have to realize who you're dealing with. You're dealing with the so-called white man, a complete fucking liar. He's a liar, man. All this man does is steal, kill and destroy. He is the perfect counterpart, a physical counterpart of Satan, the devil, the deceiver, the adversary, man. This is this is this is Satan's worker on, on the planet. This is a wicked race of people. And the Lord created them to be that way. And the Lord, he uses them as a sword. He used the so-called white man to actually do this type of atrocities to our people. Our people had these people right here. They had sense enough to know that it's better to die than to be in slavery under these treacherous ass brute beasts, man. They had sense enough. They had sense enough. They seen it. They, they knew what this man was capable of. So it was just like, hey, it's better we die, man. We might as well go back to the spirit world. Fuck being here and working under this man and being um, um, chattel slaves to this man. Because he's going to treat us bad, the children that we have bad, the children that they have bad, the children that they have bad, the children that they have bad, on and on and on and on and on for generation to generation. So when you look at these people, hey, you got to kind of applaud them. <laughs> this was actually mercy from the Lord, man, that they was able to just go ahead and kill themselves than to be in the hands of this man. Because really, in reality, we're all just it's walking death being in this man's kingdom, being in the Americas. You, 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 you're just slowly being poisoned. You're slowly being worked to death. You're slowly being killed, man, by this man. You see, and I don't really have to go into the story. I really wanted to get into some of these comments to just show you how hateful of a people they are. Matter of fact, it's 444. That's mercy. Those numbers go into mercy. And, and this was mercy to you. How about Shimia was shot? And so a lot of people that's, that's passing away in these last days, you know, as far as Israelites, they're being judged on this side. But when you really think about it, it's mercy. Because when Jacob's trouble come, you, you're not going to want to go through what's to come, man, from these so-called white people. These people about to turn up, man. You're about to see the complete horns pop out of these motherfuckers' heads, man. Straight up, man. <laughs> Let's get it, though. It says, faced with the reality of being slaves in a foreign land, Igbo, which is, which is um, um, short, but that's really Hebrew. When you go into that word, he, Igbo, it's, it's, it's a slang for Hebrew. Those Hebrew people chose death as they walk into the ocean and drown while they chain to each other. It was one of the first documented acts of rebellion from the people of Africa against white slave traders. Now, why are they being called Igbo? Let's go on. Let's see if we can get this real quick. Let's get this. Igbo, Igbo people. Let's just know. Let's just get Igbo. Let's see if we can get a definition on it. Let's just see what they have to say. Because the so-called white man, he lies so fucking much. Can't trust this man. That's why the scripture says never to trust thine enemy. It says a member of a people of southeastern Nigeria. Now, that's one of the continents. That's one of the countries that our people ran into. Nigeria, Ghana. A lot of those people over there, they're just like they're, they're the same people as the Negroes here in the Americas, man. Because that's what we ran to in 70 A.D. 
we came from Israel. If you look at the history in 70 AD, when the same white people, the damn Romans, came through ramshacked um, Jerusalem, we ran. And that was a prophecy from Yahweh, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus. He told us when this happens, you run. You go into the mountains. Some of us went up, you know, up, you know, some of us are scattered throughout a lot of those um, countries in Africa. But mainly we ran into um, the west coast of Africa. That's our history. It says um, the language of the Igbo belonging to Kawa group. Uh, what does Igbo mean in slang? Let's see. And see, like I said, again, these people, man, they so fucking sneaky and nasty. Do you know? Matter of fact, let me put this in. Let me let's try it like this, because sometimes they'll slip up. You got to kind of ask Google certain shit a certain way. Yep, I ain't even had to put it all in. It says, does he Igbo mean Hebrew? Let's see. Cross-cultural comparisons have been documented by people ranging from George Thomas Benson, the influential Ag Anglican missionary and ethnographer who proposed that the word Igbo evolved as a corruption of the word Hebrew. See? And it did. That's exactly where it comes from. <laughs> See? So these people that they're calling Africans, they know that they were Hebrew. And then you had some of those dumbass so-called white people that couldn't pronounce words right. And, and they would call, you know, um, you know, it's just basically like a slang. Like if you go to on the state of New York, New York might say something differently from a person that's down in Alabama, though they're talking about the same exact thing. Rather, you see, well, let's go back into this. See, to, to see the, 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 the scriptures are true. And when you go into Psalms chapter 64, verse eight, it says that their own tongue shall fall upon them. Matter of fact, let's get that real quick. We can come back. We can come back because we're, we, hey, we're into proving all things, man, when it comes to these scriptures. I mean, if you don't have time to listen to the videos, plenty of other shorts on here. They got all kinds of videos on YouTube, man. As you can look at videos all your life on here, man, and never get through all of them. <laughs> but anyway, we're bringing out the truth of, of, of our people and raising up the children of Israel through the power and spirit of Yahweh by Shimei was Shai, man. Psalm 64 and verse 8. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. And this is what's happening throughout the earth. The Lord has placed in the spirit on the so-called white man to tell on himself. He's telling all the treachery that he's actually done. And then you have these so-called white people that act as if, you know, I had nothing to do with it. And those are the ones that are telling. But what we're going to do, we're going to go into the scripture. We're going to show that you modern day Edomites, you modern day so-called white people, you have everything to do with it just like your ancestors did. You're going to pay just like they, we had to pay. You're going to pay. You're, you're going to pay for what your ancestors did. They walked out of the restaurant, laid, they left you with the tab. You're going to have to pick up that tab. <laughs> Straight up. It's that simple. Let's go back into this. Let's get some more. OK, it says um, faced with the, the reality of being slaves in a foreign land, Igbo people or Hebrew people chose death as they walked into the ocean and drowned while still chained to each other. It was one of the first documented acts of rebellion from the people of Africa against white slave traders. It was the year 1803, 75 West Africans. See, they said West, right? With a majority of them being Igbo were sold for $100 each to John Cooper and Thomas Spaulding. The Igbo tribe, hailing from Nigeria, were believed to be industrious, independent, and proud of their work. But you let these so-called white people tell you, you came, you were swinging from trees and shit, and you ain't know a goddamn thing until they got their hands on you. And you'll see that in the comments, too. They'll tell you, oh, well, at least you niggers are, you know how to act now. Well, if it wasn't for us, you'd be in a jungle somewhere. No, man, we was we taught you how to wash up and wash your ass and and how to do certain things. You see what I'm saying? It says the Igbo tribe hailing from Nigeria, N Nigeria, were believed to be industrious, independent and proud of their work. John Cooper. And, and Thomas Spaulding bought the Igbo people with the intention of taking them to work on plantations in St. Simon's Island, Georgia, in the U.S. They were packed onto a slave ship, but as the ship neared Georgia, Igbo people rebelled and took over the ship, killing the captain and some of the crew. The ship ran around in Dubar Creek off St. Simon's Island, according to Mother Jones. See? 
<laughs> so, hey, they was like, fuck that, man. According to the most oral retellings of the legend, Igbo people walked into the ocean while chained, choosing dignity in death as opposed to living a life of slavery by the water spirits. We came and by the water, water spirits, we would be taken home. They reportedly sang as they walk into the creek. You cannot be an enemy of the land you are part of. There is no information on how many people drowned and how many were captured. But as per document in the positions, possessions of the coastal Georgia Historical Society, the bodies of 10 to 12 Igbos, along with three white captors, were reportedly recovered from the, the Dunbar Creek. And there is a um, hookup right there. The Igbo landing marks an important chapter in African-American folklore and the act of courage. Because we're not Africans nor American, man. You have to realize Africa is the continent of Africa. It was really called ham, which means hot. And it was conquered by a so-called white man. And, and, and that name, that's where you get Africa from. Africa, Skip Aconis, I think is his name, from pronouncing it right. Um, and then you have America, which was um, named after a so-called white man as well. Amerigo. Van Spushi, I think is his name, if I'm, if I'm pronouncing that right. But... These are two continents named by named after two different white men. So if you're a so-called black person and you're calling yourselves African and American, African American, you, what you're saying is you descend from two white men. That don't make no sense at all. And like I said again, you have these Americans. They're 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 scholastic <laughs> efforts, and these school these these children are hey these are some of the dumbest people in the world, and they believe anything. They don't do no studies of their own. You know what I'm saying? It says um, the Igbo landing also gave birth to the legend of flying African. The legend goes that some of them returned to Africa by flying back home. Some watching said they flew home. No, that's that's some bullshit up right there. It's all a bunch of bullshit. Anyway, we're not going to keep this long. Let's go into these comments because that's what I really saw. You know what I'm saying? It kind of, you know, it'll get you hot boy under your collar. Because these so-called white people, hey, you're going to pay. You so-called white people, when the Lord comes, you are, you're paying right now. You don't even understand that the fall of all your countries, you're out here, you're protesting, you're out here, you're uproaring other people against your own people. You got Russians fighting against Ukraine, all them are so-called white people. White people fighting against white people, white on white crimes. Hey, look, man, we kick back and we love it. You got drug overdoses. You got suicide rates through the roof. All these countries that you've been running are ruined. Everything is falling, all this old as infrastructure. <laughs> you have nukes pointed your way at all. <laughs> like, come on, man. The Lord is about to give you guys that business, man. You reap what you've sown, and, and that's what's happening to you. See, you're watching the actual fall of your country. You haven't seen it yet. You, you just can't fathom it as of yet. But I know some of these, these parents, when they go to the supermarket, they, hey, they can see it. You kids, you may not be able to get it. You younger ones that don't have no, no sense of bill paying or no sense of going to a job or anything. But these parents, they see it. And you better believe the older ones of these so-called white people, they for damn sure see it. They, see, they knew what America looked like when they was growing up and it was better. But now, psh, come on, man. This person says, too bad they didn't show this courage to their tribesmen who sold them. See, this right here is a, is a, is a, um, a lie right here. This is the lie that the, 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 the so-called white man that told you because they have people thinking that you're Africans. So by them thinking that you're Africans, of course, they think that Africans sold Africans. No, Africans, Hamites sold Hebrews, Shemites. So it was Hamites that sold Shemites and helped the so-called white man, which are Edomites. Because, <laughs> hey, you have, to, you have to know history. You have to know who you're dealing with here. Africans sold Israelites. That's who they were selling. You're not a damn African, man. Get that out of your mindset. Okay, this person says, what an ugly remark. But this just lets you know how they, how they feel, man. Now, this person right here, you got a highest armory, and this is how you know this truth is growing. This is one of the scriptures that I would have grabbed. Revelation 13 and 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patient and the faith of the saints. See that? Oh, they have the scriptures that I was going to go into. They got Numbers 14. Let me see. In 18. The Lord is long suffering and great and of great mercy, forgiving iniquity and tra transgressions, and by no means clearing the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation. Okay, all right, they got that there. 
I would have pulled that. Um, he could have went because they, they could have went on until 14 and 20. No, not 14. Um, numbers 14 and 21. I'm thinking about Isaiah. OK, but anyway, Keith Moore says, hallelujah. Praise the mighty Yahweh, which his name is not Yahweh. The, the father's name is Yahweh. You have to get that right. It's not Yahweh. It's Yahweh. There is no letter E's in the Hebrew alphabet. So that Yahweh, that way part. No, that's not that's not biblical. That wouldn't be in the Hebrew um, alphabet, man. The letter E is not in the Hebrew alphabet. The letter J, the letter E, the letter O, the letter U, the letter V, those letters are not in the Hebrew alphabet. The so-called white man came up with those, those letters and they came up with something called vowel points that give you those sounds today. But back in the ancient day, back in um, the days of the Lord walking the earth, those letters didn't exist. Those letters are probably about 200 or so years old, I think, right? Okay, it says, um, this is the same person. It says, God hates you Edomites. You'll soon see. And that's true. That's the spirit, man. You, you And that was three hours ago on this too. This person, Susan Finney. Hey, Susan, you're, hey, you're going to be a little bed wench. Just like our women were um, bed wenches too. Um, the, your nasty tobacco spitting ass, uh, 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 you know, not washing your ass in, in three, four, five, six months. You know, because the so-called white man, when you look at some of those, I think um, Amistad and all these other different movies like that, so-called white man was having a way with our women. But you know what? Our, our The so-called black woman, she will, whoo, what a love. He loves everybody. He forgives them, though. We got to forgive, too. Like, you got to forgive and forget about all this shit these people done to you. It don't make no sense, man. The Lord is not going to forget because the scripture says that the, the Lord requires the past. It says, um, this person, Susan Finney, says, that is in the past. Our nation needs to learn from its past. The Democrats need to stop the hate and race cards. No, well, you came here to this country. You killed off the Native American Indians, damn near. It's only a, 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 sm a smidgen of them left. It's really just a remnant of them, of them left, for, for real. You came through, you raped, robbed, and pillaged, killed all of them, put them on reservations. Then you came to the, the west coast of Africa. You stole a bunch of Negroes, and, and, and you're just thinking that it's the Democrats? No, it's all you so-called white people. Republicans, Democrats, left, right, blue, red, you name Hey, you're all going to pay. <laughs> that scripture I just read from this person up here, this Revelation 13 and 10, you're all going to go through that. Why? Because we all went through that as a nation. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans have been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And you know who has us in their hands to this very day? I don't care if it's France. I don't care if it's Germany. I don't care if it's whatever country you go to. And it's so-called white people running it. It's Negroes there. Hispanics and Native Americans. The, the Israelites are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth in the hands of who? The so-called white man. As a matter of fact, let me grab a quick scripture real quick again. Because the scripture talks, it, there's a law on, 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 on um, stealing people. But these, they'll tell you they're Christians. They came here in the name of white Jesus, talking about the Bible and, and, and white Jesus. And we have to, we have to, they're so inhumane, we must civilize them in the name of our white Jesus. In the meanwhile, you being complete fucking brute savages. Exodus 21 and 16. And he that stealeth a man and selleth him. Or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. Didn't you so-called white people steal us? Aren't we stealing your hands? Then what's the results? Oh, well, that don't mean that was Old Testament. That was in the past. This is what they'll tell you, man. <laughs> this, this, hey, this is why, how you know. Matter of fact, let me get this one. Let me get this one. This is how you know that this is who this scripture is talking about right here. The wicked, man. They can't help it, though. It can't help it. Psalms 58 and 3. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies. Before they can utter a real word out of their mouth. You see the little babies? Go on YouTube and check out some of these little white babies. And see how they just be fucking lying before they can even form a full sentence. They, they even have like these tests with the children. Uh, uh, Sarah, did you eat the chocolate? Chocolate all over her fucking face. And she lying, no, mommy, it wasn't me. They even had it. They matter of fact, they had a video with a little white girl talking about no, it was a black man. 
<laughs> so just know who you're dealing with out here, man. This is not surprising, but this is the reason why we do these lessons. We putting the so-called white man on the spot. Second Thessalonians two, chapter three. Matter of fact, let's get that real quick since that comes to mind. And we can get Job 9 and 24 as well, too. And put their asses on blast, man, for all these goddamn lies they're telling. And y'all want to run around here and celebrate Black History Month and don't even know nothing about your own history. But what they've given you is some black shit. 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3. Let no man deceive you by any means. For that, sh for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. perdition. This is what's happening in these last days. The man of sin, the son of perdition, which is the so-called white man. Biblically, his name is Esau. His seed line is the Edomites today. And they are the sons of sin, man. They are the, the, the men of sin and the sons of perdition, man. They are the, the, the physical counterpart of Satan. They do his work. They do his bidding. And you can clearly see it on a day to day basis. Just turn on your news. And if you ever see anything on the news, all you got to do is just, well, why would something like that happen? If you go back to the source of thing and you go all the way back to the source and you get to the source source of the cancer, it's the so-called white man. Why are there so many drugs on the street? Why is there so much crime? Why is there this? Why is there chemicals in this in the air? Why is the water messed up? Why are there GMO foods? Hey, you go back to the source. It's going to always be him. <laughs> always be him and you're not you can't get around it man so let's see what else they got um, on these comments and then like I said you, you clearly see what it is <laughs> wicked ass people man this person Patricia Simons or Simon says I've always wondered why those statues were there that's sad nobody should ever want to die from being treated so poorly shit hey at least they had I'm telling you that was mercy had they been enslaved, man, look, the so-called white man was a, this motherfucker is treacherous, man. And he still is to this very day. He still is to this very day. He may not be burning crosses in your lawn, but you, hey, from a, a political level, from a, um, a law writing level, and, and just what, the shit that they're doing. <laughs> you, hey, <laughs> hey, this man is a complete damn killer, man. Let me see. It says the races are just blunt with their feelings. Wow. Yeah, you're right. Look at this person, Slava Razi. Enough whining. See, they're telling you, but but they want you to remember 9-11. They want you to remember 1776, 4th of July. You see? They'll get out here and barbecue their asses off. Tell one of these so-called white people you don't celebrate 4th of July. And they're gonna ask, they're gonna be pissed with you too. Ask them. If they ask you why, tell them it was a long time ago and see how they look. Oh, that was a long time ago. Why do y'all celebrate 4th of July? That was so long ago. Say some shit like that to one of these so-called white people, and they're going to they, they give you that look like, I want. I wish I could just fucking stab you in your goddamn heart 50 times. <laughs> it says, see, this person says they were sold by, sold by their own. What do you think she, where do you think this person, Glenda Parfit, got that from? The so-called white man. He torts uh, history. He gets in the news. That, that, that's like anything that you look at it on the news that's got to do with Russia and Ukraine right now. You better believe it's a fucking lie if it's coming from the Americans. Or even from the Russians. It don't make no difference. I just gave you that scripture. Scripture. He's estranged from the womb. As soon as he be born, he speaketh lies. He done lied to the world that all people with melanin are Africans. That we some bone through the nose, spear chunking ass African, man. With the long ass necks over there jumping around with them dusty as hell, just looking crazy as hell. With them silly ass looking women with them plates in their lips. They want to make you think that you're one of them people. <laughs> and we're not, man. Those are Hamites. We are Shemites, man. Let me see. Look at this person says, option is still open. All right. Better think they're kings who, predominate, who pr predominated and selling their own. See, and this look like a Jake that's saying this. He don't even know no better. Exactly. And America shouldn't do reparations. If they want it, they should look to the UK and the Dutch for it. See, this is how these people feel. Just know that the Bible says he that is last will one day be first. Like Diddy said, we ain't going nowhere. See you around the corner. <laughs> hey, 
you you so-called white people got a lot to pay for, man. And you know what? You two-thirds of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you believe in this man, you want to run with this man, you 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 just celebrate his 4th of July with him, you love America, the Lord going to destroy your whack, weak ass too. You're weak as hell, man. You goddamn sandbows, the Lord is going to knock your ass off too. And we're going to be giggling and laughing. Straight up, man. Look at this person says, they'd rather die than work. Not much has changed since. See that? See? This person, ha, 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 you win the internet today. See? What a disgusting thing to say. But this is how they feel. It says they'd rather die than work. No, they'd rather die than be raped by you musty, tobacco spit, nasty ass white people. They'd rather die than to be hung by you, to have their balls cut off, to be sold as alligator bait, to be done all these treacherous things. See, it's not about no work because we was working. If you notice in, in, in the article, it says we were industrious and we were proud of our work, right? Wasn't we working, dumbass? <laughs> this is what I say about these 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 silly ass Americans, man. But it's coming to them. It's coming to them. It's coming to a theater near you. You 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 proud ass Americans can barely afford groceries <laughs> right now because of your own people that don't care nothing about you. And you're gonna see that when your own people, that's when we're gonna be able to say, well, your own people fucked you over. We can at least say that, and it's true. Your own people got you in trailer parks. Your own people. <laughs> Matter of fact, if you look at the um, what's that in Palestine, Ohio, with those train cars, with all that industrious, all that, all, all them chemicals, them, them trailer trash ass so called white people, and guess who done that to you? Your own people. So we can actually really say your own people put you there. When those nuclear weapons come here, and your own people are in their bunkers that put you in in in, 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 in target site of these bombs, your own people got your ass blown to smithereens. It's your own people that's got nuclear weapons pointed towards you. See? It's your own people that's selling you GMO foods. It's your own people that have the pharmacies that's that's killing your damn kids from overdoses from these these pills. See? It's your own people that's 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 making the guns that's got your own kids shooting up schools and shit. You see, see, they don't think like that. <laughs> but you know what? I'm gonna end out there. I'm not gonna keep it long. Let me see. This person, uh, somebody got some Jesus Christ. Said they did the same thing to Jesus Christ. Yeah, man. And hey, that Jesus Christ, that white guy joint, that white guy Jesus Christ crap. Hey, y'all better get rid of that image, man. Or the Lord is gonna do you some kind of dirty too. See, this is how dirty these so-called white people is. They actually came up with the image of their own, somebody that looks like them and beat the hell out of people and push that image into the mind of the other people. Knowing full well, there's no such thing as no white guy called Jesus Christ. They know it's not. It's history that it's not. You can Google it. Hell, Google might even tell you there's no such thing as white Jesus. Matter of fact, let's, let's do a test. Let me, let me, let me, uh, let me see. Let me go off into this real quick. We in uh, let's just see. Plenty of information that let you know there's no such thing as white Jesus. Does white Jesus exist? Let's just see what the Google got to say. See, here you go. Here, here. Look, this is the Washington Post, and this is the history on this. It was, it was one guy here in the Americas, and he painted this picture right here, and that picture just became so popular that it was distributed across the world as him being the Lord. This picture is not that old. This image right here is not that old, but now you can go back and you can get an older picture of Cedric Borges, which is where this guy, he pretty much kind of got his image from, right? Oh, okay, so they're not going to let me in here, but anyway, it says how an iconic painting of Jesus as the white man was distributed around the world, basically, right? They know for a fact that the scriptures does not describe the Lord as being this guy. But what does the so-called white man do? He get his hands on the Bible, whitewashed it. As a matter of fact, the scriptures actually said that he whitewashed um, um, all, all the images. Because when you go into, uh, what was that? Uh, I was looking up. 
It was something that I was looking up. Let me see if I still got it. And oh, it was um, I remember now. Salakia, bear with me real quick. Uh, let me see. What was it called? Um, ah, what was that thing called? Let me see if I still got it in here. I could still have it. Oh no, though, maybe not. Hmm. Salakia. Okay, Salakia was Pentecostalism. I had went into this and done a lesson before. I can't find the actual picture, but in one of these links, they actually show the picture of the, the 12 disciples, and they're all dark-skinned men, you know, with afros. <laughs> you know, and it's, and it's a picture from that time period. Matter of fact, let's get, um, you know, we got we got to do some proving around here, man, because you so-called white people, you're you're proving to be wrong. Your white Jesus doesn't exist, and your pl and your your place in this world is falling, and it's gonna continue to fall. But there's gonna come nuclear weapons towards all of you, especially you did this of uh, this continent of America with all the wickedness that goes on here. <laughs> Straight up, man. Let's get um. I'm trying to think how that's spelled. Uh, is it a conoclasm? Mm, let's see about this one. Byzantine. Let's see. Images. And look, they didn't scratch all the pick. They didn't scratch all the faces off of these boys because they know what's up, man. Anyway, let's see here. See here, you go right here. Some of these older pictures. See that? These were Jakes, man. These were so-called black people in the scriptures, man. The Hebrew Israelites are so-called black people. Hispanics, Native Americans, they are not so-called white people. White people are Edomites, pinkish to reddish in color, man. And they went into the scriptures, whitewashed everything, and got the whole world thinking that the Lord looks like them. Let's just put in this word iconoclasm. I put in the Byzantine. Let's see here. I should have put in Russian icons. Because the Russians, they didn't, they didn't destroy... A lot of their stuff. Let me see. Um, let me just put in Russian icons. See what comes up here. Let's see. There you have it. They ain't gonna do nothing but give, you know what I'm saying? They still be trying to see they try to wash whitewash a lot of these these pictures, man. And then they're they're getting rid of a lot of them too, as well. They don't want people to know that the that the people in the scriptures were um a dark melanated people. See? They don't want you to see pictures like this. And they know what's up. But you know what? It, it don't even matter, man. You know what I'm saying? Because hey, it's all about faith from our end. You know, we already know what's up. We 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 don't need the approval of the so-called white man. You know what I'm saying? To tell us that, you know, because they're not going to tell you no truth. They're not going to give you no truth. You know, they're not going to give you no truth. But anyway, with that, you know, I really just wanted to go off into some of these comments to show you how hateful these people are towards you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans. And um, let me just end out with this. And you're going to pay. You so-called white people, you're going to pay, man, for everything that you've ever done to the children of Israel. You're not going to get away with it. Oh, I wanted to get that, um, that Isaiah. Let's go into Isaiah chapter. Actually, I'm going to have to pull two more scriptures then. Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 21. And this is for those ones that, that get to telling you about, oh, that was in the past. That was so long ago. Isaiah 14 and 21. Prepare slaughter. For his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities. See, this, this scripture is saying prepare slaughter for the children of, of the for, for, for what your fathers did. 
So you're not going to get away with it. So you can talk about how long ago it was all you want to. That's not going to change the mind of the Lord because you are your forefathers. You know, that may go above a lot of your heads because there is a such thing as reincarnation. The very same people that's walking around right now, they was back then. Those spirits are back. You see, and let me get one more. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 35. And he reads. Because thou has had because thou has had a perpetual hatred. See, these people have been hating you for 500 years here. They still hate you. You know, you think that that would be done. away. They'll tell you that that was the past, but they'll say something is hurtful and hard and, and as harsh as they would say in these comments and, and tell you. They, they showing you how they still hate you 500 years later is it, the, the evidence is there. You know, and see, this is why you, you, you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans got to be um, um, careful when you're out in public and around these people. When you're working with these people and they're inviting you to a party afterwards or inviting you to a bar or inviting you to a fucking picnic or something. You have to be careful to not go around these people after your job. It's not even useful. It, it, I mean, what, what? why go hang out with your enemies? Because what they'll do is they'll be in the Internet and typing behind in the keyboard when you don't know that they, hate, they really hate your fucking guts. You see? And then they get to work. Hey, how you doing, Carol? Hey, how you doing? You know? Hey, Jim. You know, and all that other shit. In the meanwhile, they hate your fucking guts. So that's why the scripture says, never trust thine enemy. Why? Because this man is slithery, man. It says, though he humble himself and go crouching. Hey, Susan, how you doing this morning? You want to go out and have lunch? Oh, me and my girlfriends, we're going down, you know, we're going out of town, you know, for a quick trip. And so, you know, a few hours up north. No, fuck that, man. You fuck around and your ass won't come back. <laughs> it says, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword and the time of their calamity and the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord. See, this hey, the Lord is putting this on him. This is on me, baby. The Lord, <laughs> and he says, I will prepare thee unto blood. So he's preparing you so-called white people unto blood and blood shall pursue thee. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. And you don't hate blood. You go out, you kill animals for sport. You put the fucking head over the chimney of your house. You know, just destructive as hell. You've been at war since you've been in power. There's no peace with you people, especially the Americans. I think America have been at war about 300 years straight. Literally. <laughs> From country to country to country, stealing shit. You see, and they're proud. They're proud of that shit. Us Americans. Hey, you, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Stop calling yourselves Americans, man. Just say, I just live here. I told a so-called white guy that shit at work. He is like, like the bluest brains. What do you mean? You're not American. Hey, look, man, I just live here. Oh, you want to say I'm a citizen? Okay, fine. All right. Well, yeah, I was born here. My citizenship goes into that. But I don't consider myself to be an American. I just live here. <laughs> like fuck your country man and they be bugged out when, when they see that you don't give a shit about this place fuck this place man the Lord is going to destroy it and if you're attached to it you're going to get destroyed right along with it man so with that I pray that this lesson was edifying and hey it's a lot for the language but man this, this shit just gets you hot man it gets you hot you know you're just looking like you know here you go the average so-called white person don't have a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of because of their own people and then they're so proud enough to be, get to telling you you negroes about you know how you should just forget the past forget about what we done to you because hey look at us we, we we're struggling now if you need to struggle we're all in this together no we're not this your country <laughs> you're, you're going through what you're going through because of what your people are doing to you. Blame that shit on them. You know, don't pull us into it. We don't want nothing to do with it. Well, we're, but we're all in the same. No, we're not in the same position. You're you're still uh, have a notch up from us, no matter how low you fall, because we're considered to be nothing in this country. That three fifths is a man shit that y'all wrote out for us in your constitution. So don't get to talking about no past because that shit is still present. <laughs> so with that I pray that the lesson was edifying Kwame Yashala